Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So one of the new features in iOS 5 is the ability to mirror whatever you see on your iPhone or your iPad onto an Apple TV wirelessly. And so I thought I would demonstrate it for you. I've tried it with the, the iPhone 4 and the 4S. Uh, right now, Diana, my girlfriend, is holding on to uh, the iPhone 4S. Thank you, Diana. No problem. And we're recording this in the full 1080p for your pleasure. I got to tell you, uh, I had some issues with uh, the iPhone 4S uh, and the 4 connecting in the, on the same uh, Wi-Fi network uh, to my Apple TV, whether it was connected wirelessly or in a wired capacity. So your mileage may vary. Uh, I've had uh, some lag, and I don't know if that's related to uh, my network, specifically the wireless network, or if there's any interference involved, because again, I've got the Apple TV connected by way of uh, an Ethernet cable on my home network. So uh, all you need to do to turn on AirPlay mirroring is really, really simple. Pull up your menu, your kind of your taskbar of sorts, all the open, open applications. Uh, slide to the right uh, to reveal a deeper menu where normally you would see like play or fast forward or rewind icons for whatever music's playing, either on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or your iPad. Uh, but now you'll have this familiar icon for you uh, to connect by way of AirPlay. Now I've got two AirPlay devices Devices that it can currently sense of where I can push the data onto the iPad, which I don't really need because this is the iPad, or the bedroom Apple TV, which is what this is. So I'm going to put the check mark in there, slide on mirroring. Instantaneously, I've got a mirror of what is on my iPad on the big screen. So Animation, a little uh, jittery on uh, the uh, TV as it's being mirrored, but you know, you gotta, you gotta admit. The fact that I'm doing this wirelessly, that's kind of cool. Sound does translate as well. Let's go ahead and open up one of my favorite apps. I remember I did a video on this a while ago. It was a Flash app. Now it's an iPad app. Isle of Tune. One of my, I bought it like a couple bucks or whatever. You can drag cars around and little images and, and trees and stuff and then play music or you can browse what other people have done. But I wanted to show you that uh, music was certainly playing so I can paparazzi any Lady Gaga fans. <laughs> Very MIDI-esque. Uh, okay, so uh, yes, audio plays back, visuals are just fine. Let me go ahead and show you another application, uh, Virtuoso, uh, just to show you piano here and a gigantic banner ad as it loads in. You hear the stuttery? So it was only stuttering when it was pulling in something else. So if you're crunching a lot of bandwidth anyway, like background apps or whatever, on your iPad or iPhone, that could likely impact uh, the performance at this point in time, and hopefully Apple will address that. See, that sounded horrible. I was pressing the keys and then I wanted to do it all at the same time. So I don't know if that's an app shortcoming, an AirPlay shortcoming, audio, video. It's really difficult uh, to tell. Of course, I could also browse the web if I wanted to. I could do anything uh, that I'm doing on my iPad, only reflected on the big screen with AirPlay mirroring. Again, the same thing is possible with either the iPhone with iOS 5 or uh, the iPad with iOS 5 uh, using AirPlay mirroring. Really easy to turn it on and to turn it off. Turn on mirroring right there. I can slide. Of course, I can't actually touch the TV. That doesn't do any good. In terms of resolution on the screen, I mean, it's it's beaming up full resolution. Uh, and on the home, oh, there I see I reoriented it. Boom, boom. Uh, I can pull in maps if I wanted to. I don't want to pull anything in that you know might be uh, revealing. In in my case, oh, I can you know automatically FaceTime. We'll see how well it does here with the the preview here. Uh, oh, the preview hasn't been pulled up. I wonder if it. I wonder if that's a shortcoming. So we're caught mid animation. See, I told you it's not. It's not perfect. I've, I've definitely had uh, struggled with uh, some uh, some parts of it. And this was illustrating my point exactly. It could be my home network. I don't know. It could be the fact that uh, AirPlay hasn't been optimized. It is not perfect, but it does work. Theoretically, of course, I'd be just as better off using the, uh, I just uh, reset it there. Uh, I would probably be just as better off using the uh, HDMI connector uh, with the adapter for the iPad if I wanted to use that in a professional capacity. I don't know if I would necessarily want to count on uh, using uh, wireless AirPlay, especially when it seems to choke on high animation uh, or higher animations or any kind of movement on the screen, or specifically when there's a lot of bandwidth being pushed down the pike. Could be my wireless home network. I really don't know. Uh, but 
just wanted to show you that that's how it works. Kind of fun, kind of easy, a little bit frustrating, but eh. I don't know if I plan on using it all that often uh, at this point in time. Still, it's nice. Usually for AirPlay, if we're watching YouTube or Netflix or Hulu, uh, you know, any one of our entertainment apps, uh, we would use AirPlay to beam up from whatever device we have here onto the big screen. As you see, it is uh, not reflecting exactly what was here before because Netflix is playing or playable by way of AirPlay. So it's, since it's already connected, I can go ahead and theoretically, I don't know, the Mormon proposition... I'm going, to, I'm going to see how well this works here. I'm just going to hit play. Or it's preparing right now. Yes, I'm still a Netflix subscriber. Can you believe that? Well, that's very red, that, that screen. There we go. Okay, so reorienting. Yeah. Works just fine. Done. Exit. And it should still be mirroring. Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Imperfect easy. My email address is chris at perillo.com. I'm all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Got over 100,000 followers on uh, Twitter and Google+. Facebook is, like, lagging behind at, like, 31,000. Got to work on those Facebook numbers. Come on. Subscribe to our RSS feeds at lockerdome.com, lockerdome.net, chris.perillo.com. And, of course, uh, hopefully you've liked this video. Like it before you stop. Like. Like the video. Diana, could you ask him to like the video? Please like the video. Please. You'll make baby Jesus happy. <laughs> if not, we'll have to... Uh, if you do not like this video, we're going to kill this puppy. Yes. So, uh, Pixie's fate is in your hands. <laughs> Either way, you can uh, stop by the chat room. We're geeking out 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. <laughs>